Hello, so I'm back with another edition and this I'm going to talk about planning. We saw that how under the British regime, that is on the eve of independence, what was the state of Indian economy? It was a backward economy basically. But now it was the onus of the new government, the Indian government, to bring it on the road of development. So it took recourse to planning. And that is what I'm going to do in this chapter. I'm just going to, it's an introduction to that. What are we going to really study? So it's an introduction to that. Please go through this to see what we're going to do. So while you read, or while you go through this, I'm going to tell you that in this we're going to do, in this particular chapter, we're going to do what is economic planning. So it is using the limited resources, the resources at India's disposal with the priorities it had set. The priorities was to bring about development and growth for the entire country which means all the people all the Indians residing here so we'll also talk about that planning in India came about when they set up this planning commission in 1950 who drafted these five-year plans and the first five-year plan came up in 1951 and uh, these were for a period of five years each and um, we had about 12 five-year plans and the last one was 2012 to 2017 and after that that, uh, that it was discontinued and we have what is known as the Niti Ayog. So what, what was the need for planning? That also we're going to discuss here. So uh, the need for planning was to bring about uh, growth and equity in India basically to bring about the growth to modernize India to bring down the poverty levels to increase employment opportunities in India and then um, we talk about Niti Ayog uh, which was set up uh, that that will be quite a that we, uh, we are going to talk much about that of Niti Ayog because now it's that is the that is the commission that is going on right now. That is the uh, that has taken the place of planning commission. And then we'll also talk about the common uh, goals that we have in India. I can put it as like for example, I can say that let's learn it as mess. That is modernization, economic growth, employment opportunities to grow that, and talk about. Uh, social justice which is very important and to be self-reliant so then uh, and then we will come up to the end where we will discuss the achievements of the plans and also the failures so we're going to in this particular so this is just an introduction as to what we are going to do and then we are going to take up so we are going to take up economic planning in the next one. Thank you.